to work fast. Work fast. It's so dark. Oh, shoot. I'm fine. I'm not stressed at all. <laughs> uh, no turning back. No turning back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have no makeup on today because I am going to be trying out a self tanner product and it requires you to have zero makeup zero moisturizer zero everything girl to try this out so I'm following directions like a good influencer and providing you guys with all of my <laughs> emotional response to this product if you are not if you're not sweaty at the thought of self tanner you're a stronger woman than I am because your girl is working overtime. Today I'm going to be testing out Bondi Sands. This is the Australian tan. Um, I don't know how to do an Australian accent, so I'm not even going to try. My American accent is jacked up most of the time, so let's not even go there. Um, this is their Aero Aerated Self Tanning Foam in ultra dark. You could literally see my circulatory system on my legs. So yeah, I am really fair from my neck down. Everything is light. So yeah, I needed it. And I can't wait to show you guys how this goes. This video is not sponsored, but if you guys want to check out the product for yourself, a link will be in the description box down below. Before we jump into this video, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and let's get started. Okay, so first up, you're going to want to shower, um, shave, exfoliate. Now, to be honest with you guys, this is my test. I want to make sure that it actually works before I commit to doing this like the day before going on a trip. And I felt like it was just beneficial for both you and I for me to film my honest first impressions and experience with this. Um, yeah, it's not wise to try something so extreme like self tanning right before you're about to do something big like a wedding or a first date or you're going to go take professional photographs like yeah. Please don't do that. You want to test this out. The further away from your important day, the better. Three concerns would be that it's going to be patchy, it's going to be too dark, and it's going to stain everything. I watched so many reviews because I was trying to get like a sense of what I was getting myself into, um, and they were like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. No one's sweating, no one's hairy, like, girl, I am sweaty and hairy. <laughs> Ah, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna do my face last because I'm really scared about doing my face. Like this is, this is kind of stressing me out to be honest with you. All right, so we need our mitt. Check. Totally reusable. I like the fact that it's black because if it was pink and it got stained over and over and over again with the product, it's gonna look ugly. So I'm glad that it's black. Plus I'm like half vampire, so this works. Watch it says don't shake. Tan with Bondi Sands Era Ultra Dark. Ultra Dark? Oh no. Step numero uno. For an even streak free tan, ensure your skin is clean. Check. Exfoliated. Yup. And free of any moisturizers. I am literally dry as a bone. Number two. Apply Bondi Sands Era liberally to a Bondi Sands application mitt before using long sweeping motions to legs, arms, and body. Use remaining residue on your mitt for the face, elbows, and knees. This is stressing me out. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Ooh, it's actually pretty soft. I have to go get my groceries soon, and I'm gonna look crazy. Oh my God, it scared me. Did it scare you guys? It scared me. Ooh, it smells good. See, I sound like the girls in the video. Ooh, it smells good. Work fast, work fast. It's so dark, oh shoot. <laughs> oh my God, what did I just get myself into? It's fine, I'm fine. I'm not stressed at all. You really have to like work it in with your mitt. I feel like this should come with a team because like how are you gonna get your body by yourself? You know what I mean? I'm scared now. Officially panicking because, oh great. Can you hear my dogs? The UPS guy's here and I cannot answer the door like this.
But my concern really is like, how the heck am I gonna get back there? Like if you're not flexible, good luck, sister. It smells and looks so good already. I feel like I should take these off. Hopefully I'm okay. Okay, instant regret that I didn't shave my legs. Instant regret, instant regret. I'm trying to wait as long as possible for Botox, but I need to holler at these varicose veins, okay? Looks like a man down here, it's fine. It's fine. There's no denying. Look at, look at the difference. Another great thing is when you're applying it, it's developing so you can see exactly where you need to add product and where you missed. Okay, so 22 minutes and 23 seconds into this process and I still have parts of my backside that I need to cover and I think that's about it. All right, whatever I've got left is going to my face. I'm not sure if that's how you do it. Oh God, I'm scared. Look how much more tan I am. I'm scared to sit. I should probably just squat. I just want to keep rubbing myself with the mitt to make sure that I really blended everything well. Do not lie about it. You can see that this is actually a natural color tan. 29 minutes and three seconds is how long it took for me to apply it and show you guys how to use it at the same time. So I'm sure if I wasn't talking and I was like dancing to some music and like applying it at the same time, it probably would have been maybe even half the time that it took. So it says leave on skin for at least six hours. Shower with warm water and gently pat dry skin. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna follow directions to see how it goes. Years and years and years ago, um, me and my girlfriends used to get spray tans all the time. Um, and it was a hit or miss kind of thing. Sometimes we'd look orange, sometimes we'd look way too dark. Sometimes you can see that like undertone of green that they use to make you look brown and not orange. So again, it's a hit or miss. Right now, I'm looking so tan. I cannot wait to hit pause on this recording, call my girlfriend and show them what's up because I am pretty confident they're gonna want me to do it to them too. Hopefully these marks will show up on camera. I washed dishes and some of the water splashed on my arms without me even thinking and I'm having spots show up. I didn't put any product on it, I'm just trying to blend what happened, that water spot, and it blended great. I think it's been three hours. Um, I am starting to see, you can see the streak here. So I'm just gonna take the smallest bit of product. I need to fix that because it's gonna bother me. I really didn't wanna have a dark undercarriage, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to quickly look around my body to see if I had any streaking. Now, not anywhere that I would be concerned about, especially like here on your chest, um, on your arms, if you were wearing like a short sleeve um, shirt or dress or something like that. Um, my legs look great as well. But honestly, you guys, overall, super happy with this product. Um, I cannot wait to use it again. Uh, honestly, I probably will reapply it tomorrow after I drop my son off at school and give it another go because I want it to be darker. I want to know how many of you guys have tried self tanning. Give me a thumbs up. Also, if you've tried this product, let us know what your thoughts were in the comment section down below. And if you have any tips or tricks for us, let us know there too because I probably will need it on my second go on trying this product. So hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already joined my family. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!